Could you imagine seeing someone in the NFL throwing like I am right now? <laughs> yeah, they do. It's called Jake Cutler. <laughs> <laughs> Coley, what's going on here right now? It's even cooler when you're not in the car with the windows blocking your view. So we're on our way to our hotel. I think it's in Pequot Lakes or Baxter, Minnesota or something like that. We're in northern Minnesota. And uh, it's crazy out here. There's so many colors. I'm not even sure if the camera's going to be able to do this justice. But there's like oranges and ambers and reds over here. But then there's like blues and blacks and turquoise. And there's a bunch of crazy teal colors out here. Then we got this nice ambience with the red. It's awesome. Everything looks really cool right now. <laughs> It's like literally all, all casino music is. That's how you know you won something. No. Every sci-fi horror show. We're here at the office right now. We just got back from Minnesota. We're all very tired. We got a package in the mail. We already know what it is, but we're going to open it up super dramatically. Here we go. Oh, what, what could it be? What could it be? Oh, what is that? Look at that. This is so intimidating. Okay, so here's like the motor and the stabilizer. And this looks like... That's the battery, that's also the handle, right? If I'm correct. Yep. Struggle in there. There you go. It's stuck in there. So then you put this like right. Alright, so we just got the Ronin S today in the mail. Actually, we got it yesterday, but I didn't want to open it today because I knew I'd want to play with it if I opened it. So, but anyway, this is gonna change the way that we that we shoot, honestly. It's just a more run and gun set up for a stabilizer because before we'd use this right here and this was the regular ronin m and it's a really good stabilizer awesome stabilizer but the problem is, is you have to carry the stand around with you um it's fairly wide in terms of like you have to use two hands with it i mean you don't have to but if you're using it with one hand you obviously have the sides right there where you can get bang that up on anything whatever so the nice thing about that or this anyway, is that you can hold it, be very, very small footprint, I guess, and be able to kind of work very fast because it's just a simple one-handed gimbal, go in, get the shot, and then get out. You don't even have to have a stand with it because it comes with a stand on the bottom. So I think it's really going to have a huge impact on the way we shoot things. It's just going to make it more run and gun because I think that's one of our specialties, honestly, is just kind of getting the shots as we go and um, improvising when we can do something differently. So, so having something like this that makes um, shooting a lot easier is definitely going to be helpful. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs> hey, Kaylee, you want help? You want to grab those? Sure. Yeah. No. Sure. <laughs> Why couldn't you hold that on your lap? Because I've got to hold this big <laughs> thing in my lap. Right. Love you guys. Bye. 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 Bye, sick boy. Sick boy. Sick boy. It's so hot. All right, so right now we are getting ready to shoot um, the Oak Ridge uh, Welcome Home. It's gonna be like a grill out uh, um, centered spot. Basically what we'll be doing is just getting people having a good time. Um, we're gonna be grilling some burgers and then have people over by the bonfire um, and we're also gonna have a bag set back there and stuff like that. But right now we're just kind of getting set up for that before everyone shows up so we can kind of get a plan of how we want to shoot this. Um, I played a lot of Frisbee and football in college, so obviously that's what I'm carrying. I'm Tom Brady and this is the NFL. So, welcome, okay? And I'm gonna drink me a bush light and I'm gonna throw this pigskin football all the way over side, the other side of the Mississippi. And then I'm gonna get me a touchdown. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> <laughs>
yeah. better than you. Genius. <laughs> Genius. Okay, let's do it. One we'll more time. Okay. <laughs> So we are here at Dan Beregard's house. We're just about to finish up shooting. We're getting the last few shots for the uh, Sounds of Home campaign spot, the second spot of the series that we're creating. This is a concept that kind of came to uh, came to be last year when we started working with Oak Ridge. Uh, we kind of took a break from it though and started working on some other stuff for them. But with the weather that we've been having, we decided it was time to get the second iteration of this and take the series outside to a backyard grill out. So. This is the uh, last couple shots that we need to get, and then it's into the cutting room to finish up all of the editing. But it's uh, been a really cool shoot. We've got a lot of cool shots, and I'm excited to see this one come together. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Jerry Cunningham here at Pixel Labs. Um, I'm just going to be talking about um, for today's shoot, um, just a little review with the Ronin S. We just got this in, um, so it was awesome. Uh, it's very lightweight, it's very um, easy to maneuver, and compared to the first one, um, it's a lot lighter. Um, like I said, it's a lot easier to maneuver to get those um, low angle shots if you want um, to get even upper angle shots it can go all the way around um, a couple cool features on the Ronin S that I really liked is uh, this guy right here you're able to actually with some Sony lenses you're able to actually focus from right here so that's really easy especially when you're doing like a running shot or like you know following a subject um, also there's a record button right here and then you control the Ronin right here and then another cool thing is to lock onto your subject that you focus on. You use this button right here, so it completely locks on. You, as you can tell right now, it's not moving, but it's stable. So yeah, 